Hey friends, it's Punk. I've had a lot of requests for a fermented grain tutorial, so ask and you shall receive. I've always been resistant to this though because it sounded like a lot more work than I could make time for, but over this past year, it's become part of my daily routine and I promise it's not as much work as I thought it was. And my birds absolutely love it. <laughs> so many friggin' holes in my fence. They're just all gonna bounce back in the holes. It's good for them too. Soaking, sprouting, fermenting grains, however you want to do it. It enhances the nutrient digestion and absorption and provides natural probiotics and yeast. And you can do this for all livestock too, not just poultry. I start out by making the dry mix for the week. Ah, so three big scoops of broiler. One and a half little scoops. Oats and one little tub of black oil. Mix that layer. I keep going till I fill it up. You may not do this and that's totally fine. This works for any and all grain based feeds. This is just what I do. And we're trying our best to shave costs around here. So we sadly had to drop our organic certification for the poultry, but we still want them to have the very best that we can possibly afford. This is broiler 21%. That's about a week of feed for our birds. And now I'm gonna show you how to ferment it. Uh, I like to have at least two, if not three, five gallon buckets of this going at one time. Um, you may not need a five gallon bucket or multiple five gallon buckets. So shrink based on the size of your flock. And <laughs> these guys also get fermented cracked corn and other scratch grains. I do this in a separate tub because this is their treat to make sure that everyone comes home every night. So you gotta have, keep something, you gotta withhold something that they absolutely love um, to make sure you get your birds back at night. Keep the friggin' mice out. All right, into the tubby. Of course, I like to do this with the hose outside, but it's, you know, winter in Maine, so tubby. Outside spin, outside spin, outside spin, outside spin. All right, ready? Three, two, one. about up to my knuckles. She had man hands. Cause I don't want to make it too soupy. All right, here, hang out and watch this swell up. Alrighty, so here's the oldest one. So it's well fermented. You can see it's not soupy. It's kind of crumbly. It smells really good. It kind of smells like uh, mm, sourdough and whiskey. How old is this? Probably two and a half days old. Honestly, I think that's how I get away with not ever getting mold on these is that I don't let them sit around for too long. And you'll get in the groove of how much exactly you need to be able to keep your rotation going without anything sitting around long enough to get mold. So I need three for the sunny coop. And yeah. One, two, three. And I need one for the bond coop. 
Smalls and his girls. Some random chickens. And then I need half a one for the Misfits coop. And then a little something for Cody because he likes to eat by himself. Just enough for Cody and his girlfriend. And uh, for the rest of us to seven. So a little left. So remember we did five dry scoops into this five gallon bucket. We filled it with water about two inches higher than the rest of the mix. And then we let it sit for two days, two and a half days. And out of this, I was able to get breakfast and dinner for all the birds, which is this twice. So out of five dry scoops, I get one, two, three, four, call that five times two for breakfast and dinner. So we get 10 wet scoops out of the five dry scoops after we fermented it. So basically doubling our feed rations for these guys. Yeah. Right. One, two, three for the Sunny Coop, one for the Bob, one for the Misfits, one for Cody and his girlfriend. And this is the separate scratch grain, fermented cracked corn, and some wheat and some other stuff. And this is their special treat and this is what keeps them all coming home every night. So, but this, I make it a little, made this a little too soupy, so we're gonna have to strain it. So, out to the colander we go. And we are going to be met with a gaggle of hangry maniacs. Get out of the way, please. Go, go. Come on. Get, come on. everybody Penny bird come on So half a one for Cody and the misfits and smalls and a full one for the sunny coop That's where most every birdie is And we mix that in on top of the ferments we're about to give them and this is how we get everyone home for the night Something to look forward to always. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Man, I went so long with these guys just snubbing their food and wasting it and kicking it around everywhere. Yes, Rogan, you're very handsome. And to see them all tackling the dinner like this is just awesome. Oh, am I a napkin? Is that all I am to you? Is that all I am to you, Rosemary? Am I just a napkin? All right, let's go do the others. Before I go, Doogie wanted to say hi. <laughs> Aster, don't. Sage, Isidore, Remy, Aster. Celia, everybody, back in now. <laughs> yeah. 
if you have intact, electrifiable fences, count your blessings. Because <laughs> our damn birds are always everywhere. Permits. See, it gets them home. They were all everywhere. There's Aster, there's Celia, there's Isidore, there's Remy. All the birds that were out, there's Sage, all the birds that were out come back. Instantly come back. Smalls never leaves. He's a good boy. And Greta Garbo never leaves because she's a good girl. I'm gonna go feed Cody. You run out there and kick him, I'm gonna eat you. Just saying. All right, so here's Cody. His girlfriend Boozy, who also is injured. We got him hidden back here behind this blueberry bush and it seems to be working out. Come here, babies. All right. Go feed seven. Any other misfits? What? What do you want? Did you want to say thank you? You're a sweet boy, Cody. Here's Seven, and Kenya, and Boots, oh, babies. Whoa, 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 give me a second. Seven, Seven, give me a second. Is this easier? And go look for turkey eggs for the rest of the evening. That's exactly what we're gonna go do. All right, there I am. I hope you found this semi-informative. I don't do really well with informative videos. I prefer entertainment and comedy. It's something I wish I had done a lot sooner than a year ago. We just started fermenting feed a year ago and it's really been a blessing over here so hopefully you guys can benefit from it too all right see you on the next one right off. let's go second opinion analog analog girl in a digital world.